It's your girl Sin and I am back with another video. So if you want to see what I'm doing today, stay tuned. T-shirt check. Welcome back, T-shirt preneurs, print squad, old timers, big timers. And if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome first timer. As you guys know, the ones of you who have been on my channel and been keeping up with your girl, I recently got a DTF printer. So today I'm actually gonna be doing an order of seven shirts with my DTF printer. So if y'all wanna see how everything turns out, stick around. All right, so right here is the design. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but y'all gonna get to see it a lot better once I print it out. But it's just basically like a pocket logo that's going to go on to some red shirts and that's what everything is looking like so i'm gonna go ahead head to the back and print this out all right just in case y'all don't know this right here is my dtf printer tip and it's an epson 1430 and it can print sheets up to 13 by 19 so i'm gonna go ahead and print the design out so that i can uh powder it and you know go through all the steps to prepare it so that I can print it onto these t-shirts all right I got everything set up I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hit print and it's gonna take a minute because it usually takes just a little bit of time before it prints and I am actually waiting waiting on a part to come in right now I kind of have this thing rigged up right here because I did order the the tray the output tray all right so it's it's printing now I'm gonna let y'all take a look at that and see what it's looking like
know what happened on that part right there. Y'all see that? But I, dang it, and it happened over there too. But it enough of them. I only needed seven of them. So seven of them are good. So we good to go. We have it right here. That's what it's looking like on that side. And that's what it's looking like on the other side right there. So I'm just gonna lay it out right here. And I'm gonna pull my powder bucket out. Now, I only have the black powder, but I do also have this white powder that is actually for screen printing transfers screen printed transfer so uh big boy said this will work so i think i'm gonna I'm try using this today um i did use it for one other order whoa i'm about to mess stuff up this is actually not my first order y'all but this is the first one that i'm really kind of getting on video so i'm gonna just sit this down inside the box right here and then i'm gonna take a a good scoop of powder with my little cup right here and just kind of, uh-oh, I'm not even sprinkling it around. I just kind of put a big glop of it on top of there. So that should be enough right there. So now I'm just going to grab the ends right here. Let me see. I think I'll be overdoing it with the powder, y'all. Let me see. I'll be kind of overdoing it with the powder. All right, so all the excess powder. I'm just gonna. I'm making a big powdery mess. All right, so that's what it's looking like right there. So the next step will be bring it over to the other side. All right, so right here, take this heat gun right here, because right now, this is the way that I got to do it until I get a better way, and that's coming soon. I'm working on that now, so I'm going to go ahead. You might have went over some parts more than other parts. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, place the heat gun down right here, and I'm going to look at it. All right, I don't know if y'all can see it on there, but it is kind of shining like and looking like an orange peel. So I believe that it's ready. Y'all see it on there? Yeah, I believe it's ready. The next thing I would do is grab my scissors, and that's what the design is looking like. Well, I'm going to grab my scissors and cut everything out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just cut this excess end off. they came out good so we're gonna go ahead and go press our shirts and now we can go ahead and print the shirts but i gotta go grab them first all right so here are the shirts that i have to press i have it on 300 degrees 
We're going to go for 300 degrees, 12 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and put the first shirt down. They do say you should pre-press the shirts. I don't usually pre-press them, but hey, we can go ahead and pre-press them. About five seconds. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull the shirt down. And I do have, all right, so we're going to take this first one right here and then we're going to bring it down on the corner, which will be on the five. And then we're going to be right down here, which is on about the four and a half. So we're going to go about right here. Make sure that line is even with that. We're going to grab that, cover it, and go ahead and press it for 12 seconds. All right. We have to let it cool before we peel it. press that one I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bring back this one that I pressed earlier and go ahead and peel it and it came out flawless so we're gonna go ahead and cover it with the cover sheet and give it another five second press cover sheet got stuck up under here but this is what it's looking like right here so I got seven of these shirts to do I'm gonna go ahead and finish them up and I'm gonna check back and give you guys my thoughts on this whole DTF thing got them all done so now I just have to bag them up My bad, y'all. I was I was I was supposed to film me folding up these shirts, but I had a a couple of phone calls and a couple of customers, and I kind of got distracted. But here are the shirts right here. I have them all packaged up. Let me make sure they are in order of sizes. All right, so I had three extra larges. I had one medium, and I had three larges. One, two, three. Let me double check and make sure that's what that's right. Check my order form. I believe that was it. Because it, it should have been seven shirts. And I believe that was seven shirts. So three extra large, three two X's and one medium. That is it. So I grab this and I usually put this in the box with the order until they pick it up so I won't get them confused. But because I'm dropping this order off, I'm just gonna stick it over here in the completed orders file and box them up and they'll be ready to go. All right, so you guys have seen me. Oh, actually, let me go in and box them up. Let uh, take out through the whole process. So I got this box right here and it's just as simple as that right there. Just toss them in there. Find a box that's the right size for it. And um, sometimes when it's like a, a, a box and it's too full, but it's the shirts will fit in there, I'll take like half of it down so that the edges won't be sticking up. But this one is okay. It's okay. But um, I appreciate you guys watching me. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed, why are you still here? And while you subscribe and go ahead and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you will know when I post new videos. And I will see you in another video, hopefully. But until then, be blessed.